Hello guys and welcome back to Swamp Donkey. I'm Marius. I'm Yanin. And we're playing more Mario Maker. La, 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 la. Are we past the halfway mark? Yes, yes. We only have six levels to go. Really? And we have so many fucking lives left. That is a troll level. Skip it, skip it, skip it, skip it, skip it. But I want to see. This is just a troll level. Why does it look like a hot rod? Oh, I'll we'll show you. You can shoot. That is really cute. Yeah. Oh, you can charge it up. Yeah. That is so cool. We can make a mega another Mega Man. Yo, we can actually. If only we could make it look like Mega Man. If you put Mega Man items on stuff. Yeah. <laughs> I don't even know if this is like the way I need to do it, but fuck it. Yo, just ignore everything. <gasps> oh shit. No, he brought me down. Skip this level. This level is okay. ass. As soon as it comes back. I don't know if it's funny, but I don't like and it. Japanese levels are hit or miss, dude. Because, I mean, I'm, I'm not trying to be racist, but like, with my experience with this, it's like, some Japanese levels are like, wow, that's a really clever mechanic that no one's ever thought of. And then the other times it's like, what the fuck were you thinking? What does it say? Extra stage. Extra stage? Fused bosses. Version 2.0. Uh, do you think it's more difficult than version 1.0? No, maybe it's fairer. Ooh. That was lovely. That is confusing. Yeah. Because, like, you could fly into one of those chompy things. Or no, jump they into fly those. Out like that. That's cool. And we've done that before, haven't we? The coins flying or the coins flying out of a. out of a. Well, uh, I thought you were talking about the chompy thing. Oh, no, no, I know that. No, I'm talking about the coins with wings, and you put them in a in a in a, um, in a pipe. Yeah, I wonder if you could go like ridiculous with it, and then you essentially build a level where it spawns so many coins that it impairs your vision, making the level harder to complete. But it shouldn't be unfair. Though. That's like my biggest goal. It's that's like my, that's like my you know, but that's my standard. It shouldn't be like completely unfair. Okay. Then make it so, yeah, build it in a way that there's indicators, and if the person deviates from your instructions for one second, they die. Don't you like these things? Can you spin on top of them? Yeah, I always forget though. Can okay. you spin on the chain or only on the, like? Only on the chain chomp, the, the, the ball with the mouth and the eyes. I like chain chomp. I, 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 like, I like their design. Yeah, me too. <laughs> I don't like them in levels. Unless they're just there for decoration and they're swinging. Yeah, I like that. Um, or like, if it's something where it's like... Because I, I, I use um, I use a chain jump as like a, a thing that chases you. There we go. But all these fire flowers, really? Run! <laughs> what are these things for now? I'm gonna say it's probably not something nice. Ah, oh, cool, some generosity. Okay. What's this? Well, I'm just gonna... What's, what the hell is it shooting? It's shooting little suns. Spinies. What the hell are spinies? These things. Oh, really? Yeah. They look... It's a completely different color when... Yeah. Um... Okay. See if there's like... Yeah, you, mean, you have to come go to... up, I think. Okay. Ah. There we go. Okay. Oh, or if there's just some form of cheat. Or if it's just... Oh. <laughs> Pooed my pants a bit. Yeah, I was just about to bit. say, we both nearly shat. Okay. Oh, this seems to be a bypass for the level. Or is it just me? I hate it when people do that. Fucking, you know, make like a super difficult level that's pretty much impossible. But then they have like a little, you know, escape route. Ha 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 well, at least it took you to the checkpoint, so it was a yeah. good thing. Doesn't seem to be a complete bypass, but it's beneficial. Yeah. I don't know, maybe there isn't another route. Maybe that's the only route. Could be. Alright. Boss battle and Oh, for fuck's sake. Oh, uh, that's what their frost fused enemy is. Ah! Or fused boss battle. Okay, this is actually pretty cool. I don't know really if funny, but this is cool. Okay, I just need to. Because look, he looks like a. a, a a creature like, on his yeah. own. He's like walking. Yeah, that's clever. Yeah. Yeah, this is very clever. Ah. 
Yeah, it is. It's pretty clever because his arms reach down to, towards you as well. Yeah, it feels like a real boss battle. Okay, okay. I just need to. I just need to like, stay ahead of him. This is actually quite tense. Okay, no, I'm not gonna. Don't knock those jumps. No, he's over. gonna knock oh, those jumps. Oh god, that is so smart. <laughs> <laughs> just anticipating the other ones, and then one comes out of left field and just like no. <laughs> Well, at least I have that checkpoint. Yeah, you have that checkpoint to fall back on at least. And it's through here, I'm assuming, that the boss battle is. So yeah, this is where the boss battle starts. And the main thing is keep this mushroom alive. Yeah. Do you think you could get past him? No, because the level scrolls. So I can't, like, gain any, like, ground. No, but I mean, like... Let's say, for example, um, fuck. you use that post hit invulnerability to stay behind him. So oh. that you can take the top route, for example. No, you can't take this top route, I think. I think there was like something along those lines that I couldn't have took, taken. I, I don't know. It spikes, so it depends. You'd have to um, abuse the post hit invulnerability really well. Mm. So it would be quite a challenge. What are you here? Um, keep your one up. Fuck! Yeah, I, I, I could have made that. I could have made that. Yeah, but even if you made that second jump, you would have gotten into that saw blade. I could have made it. I could have made it. I think the best <laughs> strategy is try and keep your, um, what do you call it? This thing. Try yeah. and stay big all the way up until you get to the chomp chains and then use that to just yeah, kind just of. the invincibility frames. Yeah. Post it invulnerability is pretty much a huge part of the Mario strategy. Yeah. Yeah, there's some levels that, that use it that uses it quick, uh, pretty, uh, pretty well because there's some levels where basically like the whole game, th the whole level through, you're like doing that. You're getting a mushroom, you're losing a mushroom. You're getting a mushroom, you're, you're losing a mushroom. Which yeah. is extremely stressful. It's like, uh, for fuck's sakes. Binding of Isaac is definitely one of those games which I wish had a proper post hit and vulnerability on it. But do, 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 do you think that would like take away from the game? I don't know, it, it depends. The first Binding of Isaac, I feel in, in many scenarios, like the player is at a disadvantage but an unfair disadvantage. Is, but isn't that like the whole point of the game though? No, I feel it's supposed to be challenging and difficult and require lots of repetition. But for example, um, on the first Binding of Isaac, I literally just need one more trophy to platinum the game. And I'm not a person that re normally likes to platinum games. So I worked quite hard and I, I played quite hard. And then the one I need is I have to beat Mom without, or the Depths without damage. And the big obstacle there is Mom. And for, you, and for those who know Binding of Isaac, that's like literally the last level. No, it's not. It's, it isn't. I've gotten a apparently more difficult trophy, which is the womb snow damage. Oh, oh, but oh. mom is unfair because there's a glitch where when she, when you kill her, if you're still under the shadow of her foot, you take damage. And the only time I nearly got that trophy was I wasn't aware of that glitch. Oh, for sake, that's stupid. And it's did, like, but but do you think they're gonna? Did they patch it? Maybe. No, they've or had they... lots of updates since they installed. It's still, I don't know, I think it still happens. But, but do you it think it's a glitch then, or do you think it's just like, well, this is how it's made, so... I don't know, but either way, it pisses me off. Cool, cool, cool. I did it. I did it. That was a good job. Yeah, because I don't want to play Binding of Isaac anymore. I have Rebirth now. <laughs> it's a lot better, the controls are a lot better. I've already gotten all those difficult trophies it on feels, Rebirth. Oh, for fuck's sakes, I need to be down there, and there was no checkpoint. Ah. Uh. Well, the one thing I've observed from this level that's quite a key piece of information is listen to the fucking arrows. Yeah. This person's generous with the information that those arrows provide. Yeah. But yeah, Rebirth has significantly better control. Um, I feel it's a bit more skill-based and less random than Isaac, the first Isaac. Yeah. And I've, it, it feels clean. Yeah, I've already gotten... The, the Depths trophy, I've already gotten the Basement trophy, I've already gotten the Wound trophy, so I've done all the No Damage trophies, and I did that all within the first week, and it's not because the game is easier, it's just I feel, um, 
there's there's a lot less issues with unfair deaths or unfair yeah. damage. Um, so it, it, it it's kind of like playing. Um, it's a good game to like. It it's just balanced a bit better. Ooh. And the thing is, now it's, I don't want to platinum uh, rebirth because rebirth has like three billion trophies to get, and the the most part of that system is. Did you see that? That was very close. <laughs> um, the big problem with that system is, I've already beaten Isaac like three hundred times for all the trophies. I don't want to have to replay yeah, rebirth true. with each character beat each boss so each character you have to play like I think it's nine different versions or nine different playthroughs <laughs> I heard <laughs> this is a bastard of a level but you still walk away with um, two, quite two a few lives. lives yeah two or two, two you're still at 56 one. how much were we at 62 yeah and we're at level 11 now yeah I think we might make this run hmm. Which is actually saying something because every time I try, well, I don't know what your name is because I can't read that, but I actually like your, your stage. Yeah, I think it's a cool one. I like the fuse box. Mm, it's very clever because I mean, you always see enemies stacked on each other. You know, reg you know. Yeah, but never in a, in in any way creative yeah, like way. A, yeah, that actually looks like a design thing, not yeah. just let's stack shit on top of one another. What the fuck are you? I'm Chibi Robo. Oh. Uh, I'm Mario. Am I supposed to know what that is? Um... Nah. GameCube wasn't that big in South Africa, so... He was a GameCube uh, character, and now he, there's a 3DS game. Is it good? <sighs> if you really like side scrolls. I, di I didn't... I didn't. Like, I haven't played a shit ton. I mean, I have it just because I needed, needed the fucking amiibo. But... And do you have the game? Hmm, I have it. I have the... the well, it's it's like a special edition kind of thing where you get the amiibo and the character. I'm getting it. Oh, so it's just a random one? Yeah. I thought it was thematic. It was, oh. This is one of those levels where you have to abuse the post hit thing the whole time. Yeah, it feels like it. Yeah, you have to keep up with the mushroom rain. So just be fast and you'll keep up with the mushroom rain. There's something up there that seems to dispense the mushrooms and yeah, stuff. Yeah, it's the key And some of them throw mushrooms, obviously. I'm gonna skip this game. It's like RNG based. I'm not that big a fan of RNG based levels, personally. Because I don't feel there's, a, there's really any, any skill involved. Yeah, it's just um, trial and error mm. and luck. Okay, let's see this. It's a two-screen puzzle. Okay. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. No. Okay. Let's see. What's down here? Oh, okay, I need the spring. Okay. This one seems like it's quite well thought out already. Well, I generally like uh, like puzzly levels. Okay. <laughs> can, can will he kill them if his shell goes over them? I need to do that. But after that, I don't know what, what the hell I need to do. But maybe you're not supposed to go over the spike. Maybe you're supposed to hop on him and get to the power. Hop in and get the yeah I know uh, but I think what I need to do here is I need to jump on the Koopa and then get the pal. I I need to jump over the Koopa and land where like l land on the right side and then jump towards the pal because I can I can no I think you can make it to the pal from the side can't you no no you can't jump that high are you sure. It doesn't look like you can jump that high either. Yeah. Well, I'm gonna try and jump. Because if you if you go down there, you can get a little helmet. A little helmet? From that guy in the corner there. No, no, you can't. Why not? Because um, you can only get the helmets if they're empty. Like you have to make them. You have to shake them in the Mario Maker thing to make them empty. You can't just grab one of. You can't just kill one of them and grab them as a shell. Oh, that sucks. No, then I'm pretty sure you have to go left. Okay, I think I know where to jump. Um, 
Okay. I'm supposed to jump there. Oh, okay. And then jump, and then grab it! Fuck! Um, at least I know where to can get the shell now. That is very specific. Yeah. Very skill based though. Yeah, it's 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 Keep it's one of those levels that A you have to think about what you do and then B when you do it you have to do it really accurately. Yeah. Like full conviction. Yeah, no pressure. Okay. Except the large amounts of pressure. <laughs> and apparently that thing can kill you. Fuck. Okay, cool. At least he got back on his shell. Well, yeah. And people die from that spinning blade. Because mm. I saw the little... See, that's why Mario Maker and Dark Souls are so similar. That's why it comes up. Because just in Dark Souls as well, you can also see where people died. Mario yeah, Maker does true. the exact same thing. That's true. And there's a lot of levels that are incredibly difficult and frustrating. So I think it's actually a fair comparison. Okay. Well, what do I need? Uh, I needed to kill these flowers. Oh, I know it's here. Can't you put the spring under the... I'm gonna do this. Okay, and then he goes down one again, and then he goes down another one. No, that's pixel perfect precision then. Pixel perfect precision? Yes, alliteration to the max. <laughs> alliteration. Okay, I'm gonna try this one more time, because I don't want to spend like another fucking whole episode on one level. But I'm curious to see what happens on this level. It's a cool level. I know, that's why I say, just do it. It's worth it. People will be entertained unless you lose all 50 lives on it. True. Okay. To wait for this asshole. So. I thought for some reason. So if, if he does become a shell and you knock it and it shoots back and forth, it's not going to kill those piranha plant thingies. No, because those... Fuck's sake, why do I... Uh, it's because I'm afraid it's a, of that fucking sword. Yeah, it's a panic reflex. But that's the one thing that a lot of people have complaints on with Mario, it's the slippery control. That's why I don't like Mario. That's why it's one of my weakest games, because I hate the fact that you slide when you land. I, don't, mm. I, I hate the lack of precision. I mean, I'm a Mega Man fan. Love that. I love the controls of Mega Man. It's tight. It's tighter than Mario. Like... Not necessarily the platforming, but like all around it's a bit of Yeah, Mario has a lot of like floatiness to its movements. I wouldn't say floaty. I'd say slidey. Because even in the air, it feels like it's not precise. It feels precise to me. I don't know. I think that's like a kind of a matter of opinion kind of thing. Yeah. Or like, you know, how, the, how you play it. Because Mario's jumps feel like very precise to me. It's the landing thing that like really bugs me sometimes. Yeah, that's, see, that slidiness, it throws me off. It feels like I don't know what I'm going to do. Yeah. Like exactly what the little character is going to do. Mm. And that throws me off. I, I think it's one of those games that will get better with practice, obviously. Yeah. But I don't know. I haven't had the patience to, to practice all the Mario games. The first one's the one I'm the best at. Well, I mean, I play, I play this, I play Mario Maker a lot and I still suck at it, you know? Yeah, I'm okay with the levels that are Mario 1. Yeah, because you know all the mechanics. Yeah. All these other strange mechanics throw me off. There's this one level that I'm probably never going to try on on this show. But I think the hardest level is Pit of Panga. Or something. It's called or something like that. And someone, they streamed the guy making it. And it, 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 I think it took the guy like hours to beat him himself. Just like he made this level where it's like, pixel precision like you know he needs to you need to throw something and then like a tiny while later jump on that thing you threw and then it's like eh, you know yeah well if we ever want to do an eight hour live stream we can just do that level you think i'm going to be able to beat that in eight hours <laughs> do you not think so no i can honestly say i'm probably going to die before i'll probably die of old age before i can beat that well we can beat that you're very optimistic. Do you think I should just kill him? I don't know, can you? No. Oh, but then you can just fetch the other power block. Yeah, is that it? Or is there more? Oh, they died as well. Well... Maybe you're supposed to take the power block with you. 
What? What? Can you wear that one as a helmet? No, I'm guessing I have to jump on him. Yep. Fuck this level, it's so difficult. <laughs> okay. You know what? I like this level, but the, the lack of checkpoints, like if he... Yeah. If he put a checkpoint where that power block was, mm. this would have been a significantly more satisfying level. Yeah, true. But I'm not going to blame the person because for all we know, it was made long before the checkpoint, so... Who knows? I'm not supposed to jump because it's t Captain Toad's treasure tracker. Can you jump? Yes, but if you jump, then booze card. Okay. Oh, that's cool. Go that way. Oh, wow, that's really clever. Now what? Oh, hi. <laughs> this is really cool because um, I bought this game for my girlfriend and uh, yeah, Captain Touch Treasure Tracker. Yeah, and I've played quite a bit through it. Or yeah, I've, I've played quite far into the game with her, and um, it's it's a really cute game, and it's 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 a nice casual game, and it's fun in the sense that the replayability is is good um, because. There's like a lot of items that you can go and, and search for. You can beat the levels very easily, but you're not necessarily going to find every little hidden treasure. Mm -hmm. So there's a lot of motivation to play it over and over. See, that's what happens. Yeah. What am I supposed to do here? Did I miss something? So this is a pretty good representation of it. Kind yeah. Of. I like the fact that they, they thought so much about it that... You really just can't jump. Mm. This, this person must have stacked a shitload of invisible blocks. We'll yeah. never know how many. See, even there. Yeah. Christ. It's okay though, it's okay. I, I, I vote either beat this one or just... Or just die. Flat out, like... Should I try and like completely beat this one? Yeah, I think so. Cool. I really like this idea. Yeah. This is so clever. I didn't know you could put you could power blocks on Thwomp's heads. Okay. Did you know that? Yeah. I did it in the other level I made. Um, oh yeah, yeah. But I didn't know. I didn't think of it as like standing on it. Mm. I guess because I played that level, but. I just had used it to move the objects essentially. Yeah, okay, so here's a P, a P block or a P door. So it's bathroom. Okay, what am I supposed to Oh, oh. Run. That, that glitched. But... Okay. I don't think so. Well, it wasn't there before. Yeah, maybe it... you're right. Okay. Just wait. Okay. And this one, patience is a virtue. This is really good homage to Get the original one. I must say I'm very impressed. Oh, checkpoint. How on earth do you do that? Oh, for fuck's sakes. Can you ride that shark? Yep. Ah. Uh, he made sure, but he gave you a checkpoint here, mm. which is cool. I yeah, appreciate that. When it's, it comes to something like that, it's preferable if the put Ah, and you become toad again. Yeah. Awesome. Alright. But the thing is, you preferably want to... Ah. Squat that one. Almost there, though. That's difficult, because where you're standing, if you jump there mm. as well, you literally have to drop on it. Which gives you, like, a really short period of time. Exactly. Um, there we go. Run! Cool. Be prepared. Run! Ah, oh, satisfaction. Right. Oh, that was so <laughs> close. What? How dare you? Yeah, I think it's obviously to force the star to wear off. Oh. Um. Okay, cool. What goes on here? Then you have to do that multiple times. Yeah. Well, that's cool as well. That is a really cool mechanic. There you go. Wow, this was genius. 
I don't know if funny, but fuck sakes. Checkpoint. That was a fucking cool little section. Yeah. Okay. Onward. What's the level's title? Just Captain Toad. Oh, uh, here he allows you to jump. I want that mushroom. Oh, it was a one, one time thing. Oh, no. No, not allowed to jump. Wow, how does he make them double like that? It's two blocks. I hit two blocks accidentally. But you're allowed to jump in the room. I'm in the rooms, it, it seems like. I don't know, it's hard to explain. No, I get, I get what you're saying. Let's see. Like over here, I can jump. Yeah. See, that, okay. I think you're supposed to just get past them. That would be my... My guess. Like... Mm, you wait for him to jump. Yeah, he's going up and down the whole time, but he's on a platform, so you can run through underneath. Just stay still and then run when you get the opportunity. Just sprint. Fear. Fuck everything and run. <laughs> I didn't know, like, for a very long time that it legitimately was that. Really? Yeah. Is that what fear stands for? Yeah, I'll fuck everything and run. Apparently, someone told me that. No! Okay. I was just gonna say. Now what? Just wait patiently. Is that, is, isn't that like maybe a reference to like one of the... Yay! To be honest, it's been a while since we've played. Mm. Yeah, I have no idea why. I've never played it. I think that's the only like Wii U box kind of thing that I did. Yeah. Alright, well I think that was a really cool one. Yeah, I agree. And I'm gonna draw a comment on it. And then while I do that, I'll wait for you. We'll, we'll see you guys next time. Yeah, next time. See you guys Another day. Time. Another day. Another and day. It's gonna take me about a week and then I'll be done. Yeah, like just for seven days, remember he's gonna be here slaving on one picture. We're not going to give him food. We're not going to let him go to the bathroom. He's going to be drawing one amazing picture. Mm. Die. And that'll get us some views. Mm. Goodbye. Anyway, yeah. Okay. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and do all the social things. And keep drawing. And exploding. Why did you shoot? My self-respect. <laughs> <laughs>